Four year old Cody Bigsby went missing from his home in Hampton early last year. And although his father is charged with killing Cody months before that, the little boy has never been found. It's similar cases like that one that are inspiring researchers at George Mason University to look into a novel method for finding bodies. Down on your side, investigative reporter Chris Horn traveled to Northern Virginia to see the possibilities. Chris? Lena, whenever a killer refuses to reveal what happened to a victim, it makes the personal loss for the family so much worse. George Mason's forensics program has found what you might call the perfect swarm of volunteer searchers. They say graveyards have fences because people are dying to get in. But this will be a cemetery like no other, more a proving ground than a graveyard. Researchers at George Mason University are hoping to get their first donated body sometime soon. They'll test their theory that bees can help them find decomposing bodies. Bees can be very good vectors for finding humans that have been left outside. They've died outside and now they're de uh, decomposing outside. And Professor Mary Ellen O'Toole's body of work before George Mason was tracking the highest profile cases of mysterious deaths. 28 years as an FBI profiler. She worked the Unabomber, Natalie Holloway, the Green River and Golden State Killers, Zodiac, and many others. I worked a number of serial murder cases where the offender kidnapped one location, murdered second location, buried third location. So investigators need to narrow the search with thousands of helpers. These are not killer bees. These are bees that can help find the victims of killers. Here's the key. When bodies decompose, they emit organic compounds. And those compounds can end up in groundwater and eventually in flowers that bees will pollinate. Once investigators have a general idea where a body might be, they can start analyzing local honey for evidence of decomposition. It would be a first step method that makes other methods more effective. The area would be too big to bring in, let's say, a cadaver dog. And it would be too big to have um, a group of people walking shoulder to shoulder. If the honey of local bees does show decomposition, <laughs> investigators can then follow with ground penetrating radar, drones, and other tech. O'Toole wishes she had had bees in her arsenal decades ago. And I think of those cases and I think those poor victims would not have laid out there basically for decades before they were found. Back when she started with the FBI, O'Toole never dreamed her career would land here. If, you, if I knew this 30 years ago, I may have that attitude that, oh my gosh, I, do I really want to eat honey again? And now that I know how valuable these little wing crime fighters are going to be for us, uh, you know, I just love them. And again, so far, bees finding bodies is theoretical, but bees have been used to identify pesticides, and this research works in much the same way. If you'd like to help them in their research, we have details on wavy.com. Chris Horn, 10 in your side.